Okay, tell us what day it is. <laughs> it's August 13th. August 13th, 2017. Okay. Okay, Jonah just got back from Samoa, so we thought we would just make a quick little video telling about some of the stuff he did there for posterity's sake. Okay, so Jonah, um, first question. What did Samoa look like? It was beautiful. It was seriously like... I mean, it was just like an island completely covered in jungle with like palm trees and tons of different types of trees I didn't know the names to. Um, the beaches everywhere were just like nice sand, crystal clear water. You could see the bottom. Um, you could see uh, coral reefs pretty much everywhere on the island. Um, there were mountains. Um, the weather was amazing. It was always sunny pretty much. Like how far away from the shore would you swim? Um, in different parts you could go out farther than others. It basically depended like just how long until it got deep. Um, when we went scuba diving we could go like oh, probably a football field away from uh, the shore looking at the coral. And in other places you could only go out like maybe a hundred or so feet um, before it got up to your neck. and then. But it was still clear way out still there. Still clear way out oh, there. Oh, yeah. awesome. Um, okay, so describe Samoans. Um, the best word is probably just happy. Like, they were always laughing and, you know, I never got their jokes. I don't speak Samoan, but, like, no matter what we were doing, they were always laughing. Um, when someone messes up, like, they laugh at it instead of, like, criticizing or getting angry, which I think is a, some Americans could learn a lot from. Um, they were just a kind people. Um, they were very welcoming, like when we visit their homes and stuff, it's all about like, are you comfortable? Are you happy? What can I do for you? Um, I mean, they didn't have a lot of stuff and they were always willing to try and give us something. So. Awesome. Um, cool. And um, what, did anything surprise you? Was there anything that you just weren't really expecting that kind of surprised you? I wasn't ready for how hard the work was actually. Um, we got we got to the work site every day at nine, and we would go home between three and four. So you know you're working for six or seven hours a day. Um, you're in the sun, and you're just shoveling dirt, carrying rocks, cutting down trees, and moving them. And then you know we did the finer parts, you know where we painted it, and we put on the roof, and it was just it was tough work. Like you got home and you were just did, done. You're just physically tired. Physically exhausted. Which part of the work did you enjoy doing the most? Uh, digging, actually. Um, I, I pretty much dug, I feel like I dug the whole septic tank. Um, I did that for like three days straight. I just didn't want to switch. I liked doing it. Um, I don't know. I was kind of good at digging. Uh, so yeah, we dug a six by six by six foot septic <laughs> tank. Um, and by the end, I kind of had to do it because no one, not none of the girls were tall enough to get the dirt out oh and only one of the other guys could kind of do it so that was my favorite part for sure. okay and but and you said you spent a lot of time on the roof too i also yeah so towards the end of the trip we did uh we put tin on the roof and uh, i like climbing up there and the breeze felt better <laughs> and you got to hang out with the Samoans more and they were hilarious so that was probably my favorite part awesome uh how was the food food was awesome if it hadn't been for that pesky south side hemisphere bacteria I probably would have been fine um, <laughs> other than that the food was great they had like chicken on the bone every single night um, we get like corn rice um, we got toast for breakfast we got Samoan pancakes um, and then lunch was amazing we got cinnamon rolls we got Beauty and Jays we got pizza yum awesome. yum okay awesome um, tell about the group you were with so there were 26 of us total, um, 25 by the end of the trip. One of the adult leaders ended up having to unexpectedly go home early. Um, there were seven youth boys, um, and the rest were girls. And then we had Jake and Lauren, who were our two trip uh, leaders. And then we had Becky, who was like the trip mom. She was uh, the mom of one of the girls. Um, the guys got along super well, the girls got along pretty well, everyone got along really well. Um, yeah, I was sad to see everyone leave at the end of the trip, we made a lot of friends. It was a nice group. Did you guys 
So you got to ride together on the plane to from from LA, LA to Fiji yes. and back. Yeah, back. And you were sort of together and getting to know we each were other. All within like five rows of each other. Okay, fine. Cool. And but did you like hang out a bunch with the guys at night or you know in your room or were you kind of exhausted and you just went to sleep? Like what did you guys do? You didn't have phones. Yeah, we didn't have phones. We we talked a decent amount. So like every day, um, when you get home from the work site, you had like two hours in your room to shower and get ready for dinner, and then we had activities with the ward. Um, so you know, I'd shower and then we just all lay in our beds and take naps and talk with each other. And then at night, um, after we did a group devotional, all the guys would come and we just they go to our room because there are only two guys' rooms and they just chose ours. Uh, and we had man devotional which is all the guys would get together and we'd, just, we'd talk about um, we have a man scripture which was just like a scripture about manly people Ozzy shush shh you stop it shh <laughs> okay man devotional was a manly scripture <laughs> yep. that's right and that's then we'd, right. we'd choose a man challenge and then we'd have a man service so man service was usually like uh, we'd do all the girls' dishes or something for a meal, or we, if there were any girls we thought were maybe a little lonely, we'd try and sit with them or talk with them. Awesome. Um, the man challenge was we'd just do push-ups or like pull-ups. See, we chuck soda just see who was the manliest. Um, one of the challenges was who could square up with Molesi, who was uh, he was our Samoan HEFY coordinator, like 200 pounds, six one. And uh, the goal was just to, at some point, confront him physically. Uh, so one of the guys did that by stuffing him in basketball. Um, unless he went on first shot, and he slapped it down, and that was, he was the manliest man in the group. Did you ever stick it to Molesi? I did not, no. I stayed out of his way. <laughs> he was a big guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, awesome. Um... Was, um, any excursion that you want to tell about that was kind of cool somewhere when you left the work site and did something interesting? So the, f the second day we were there, we uh, were staying at like this kind of beach resort. Um, we got to stay there for two nights and it was like our like, it was the best part of the trip probably. But before we started working, we just got to hang out on the beach. On the second day, we, um, we went down and we took a, a, basically a ferry, but it was actually just like a little motorboat. That, like that was completely run by these like 15 year old Samoan boys and they took us out probably 10 minutes away from the main island of Apia to um, this other island I can't remember the name and we got to hang out there all day they gave us really good lunch we got to hike to the top of the, the island and get to look around and it was like super beautiful it was awesome the water was super clear um, that was that was definitely my favorite part of the trip we just got to hang out there was it a hard hike or no it was actually just really easy well, it was, it was very uphill, and there wasn't much of a path, uh -huh. but I, I didn't struggle with it. Some of the people in our group um, had a bit of trouble, but I thought it was fine, and it was fun. Oh, and tell about the stars. So, yeah, the first night and second night, especially since we were on the beach, um, you could just look up, and, I mean, there were just more stars than I've ever seen in my life. You could see all of them. Oh. I wish I had to recognize some of the constellations, <sighs> yeah. but I didn't. Yeah, we don't ever see... of the earth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, oh, something that you learned or noticed at church there? You went a few times. Anything different? Um, so one of my favorite things that my leader said, um, Jake had been to HEFY Samoa the previous year. It was the second time. He knew what he was doing. Um, and he said, he said, you know, no matter what language barrier you know there might be you can still feel the spirit um, and that was so true um, we were I was lucky enough to get there just by chance for a fast Sunday so um, there was a testimony meeting and um, the Samoans would go up and they'd bear their testimony in Samoa and you know you had no idea what they were saying but you know they'd start crying and you get emotional and everyone could feel the spirit and it was totally great and I ended up actually getting up at the end and bearing my testimony in English and I know no one understood what I was saying, but everyone was nodding. And oh, they I felt that was great. Yeah. They felt the spirit when you talked. That is cool. And what were you saying? Some guy, like some kid, like came up to you and just was like, "Hey, we're gonna be friends." <laughs> so yeah, very first Sunday, um, I'm in Sunday school, and one of the Samoan boys slaps me on the back of the head, <laughs> and I, everyone's laughing. I had no idea what was going on, 
I don't know if you wanted to fight me or what. <laughs> and afterwards, he came up and gave me a hug. He said, we're going to be friends. And I was like, all right. So his name was Park. Well, his American name was Park, but his actual name was Toma. Anyway, um, and he told me the first day, he said, I'm going to get you a gift when you leave. Uh, and we're going to be friends. So every church activity, we kind of hung out and talked a bit. Um, we played basketball together. Um, we had a lot of fun. And then on the very last day, he ended up giving me a little necklace or whatever which was super cool oh that's awesome that is really cool um oh tell about what you did in fiji you had an eight hour stopover in fiji that's pretty cool oh ozzy that was the worst i'm gonna throw a ball at him okay tell about fiji so we had an eight hour layover in fiji and um i don't think the camera's pointing at me okay and um while we were there, we went to this place where they do mud baths. And um, I'll be sure to show you guys. I just got the pictures for them, and they're awesome. They're awesome. So what we did is we went up to these giant basins of mud, and we all covered ourselves in mud, and then we ran around the field to dry off, and we took pictures, and they look hilarious. Uh-huh. Can you just, if you throw it, that might just shut him up for a little bit. Oh, Aussie, sorry Aussie. about our dog. He's so annoying, but we love him. He's adorable. Think that worked? Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so we had mud baths. We got caked in mud, and then we got to go into these hot springs. They were natural hot springs, and they were super warm. Um, they, yeah, they were awesome. It was basically like getting to hot tub, which was awesome after two weeks of cold showers. Oh yeah, cold showers. Or two showers. and a half weeks yeah, of cold showers, and so yeah, we finally got to get in warm water, um, wash the mud off. It just, it was really cool. I've never done that before. And you like let the mo mud like cake on you and oh, yeah. stuff. You'll and... see you'll see in the pictures. It's hilarious looking. Awesome. The only white spots on my body are my teeth and my eyes. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Oh, and there's some of your injuries. Jonah got chopped up quite a bit. Yep. Working. Um, any words to say to anybody who might be thinking of doing something like this? Like Do it. It was so cool. It was awesome. I mean, first of all, you have to go to a foreign country. I mean, I'll probably never get to go to Samoa again. I never would have gotten to go if I hadn't have done this. Um, it's fine. Yeah, don't let him in. Um, it's too wet. Yeah, it was super cool. It was like, if you've ever thought of doing EFY or AFY, it's both of those on steroids. It's just so much better. Way more fun. I'd do it again if I could. Okay, just any final thoughts? My questions are done. Any final thoughts? Samoa was awesome. And I'm so grateful I got donations for it that helped me get to go. It was fantastic. Awesome. Well, we sure missed you. We're happy you're back. All right. Thanks. Signing off with Jonah Turner, home from ATFY, Samoa.